Hi guys, I haven't uploaded any videos for a while. Um, got a bit bored of the blacksmithing stuff and the weather we've had lately has been so rubbish. I haven't felt like it, but uh, I just thought I'd show you my latest little toy. It's this three axis CNC router, mill, engraver, whatever you'd like to call it. It's uh, got these fairly big stepper motors. Um, makes it reasonably powerful for its size. Um, the spindle, this Proxon, isn't particularly powerful but for what I want it's absolutely perfect. The table is a, a British made uh, merchant dice table, not one of these cheap Chinese jobs. Anyway I thought I'd share with you what I've learnt so far, I haven't had it that long and to run it you need a couple of programs or I'm using a couple of programs. Uh, the first one is this one vcarve pro and basically you can get your information in there in several ways um, you can either import a bitmap which you go to here import bitmap and once it's loaded you can load it from the internet from your files whatever you trace it and turn it into vectors or you can do what I did here and start a new file um, add text which I've put in here um, and then there's another tool here, edit text spacing and curve, which enables you to actually turn the the words into curves. Like here we have, have the scan me. Um, once you've done that, you go to your text, uh, your tool paths. Um, I just chose this one, which is a, a quick engraving tool path. Um, and you can select the tool that you're using. There's a, a load of tools there, and if it if it isn't there, the one you want, you can uh, add it and it will fill in the details. Click calculate and it turns pink, which has turned it into vectors. And you save it in wherever you like. I've saved it as tagged. I've already done it, so right, let me do it again. And that's about it in that program. Then you start up the next one. And I'm using Mac 3, which is absolutely fantastic program. Um, this machine did come with another one, I think it was called Router, but I just couldn't get the hang of it, couldn't get it to work, it just kept giving me errors. So I splashed out another hundred odd quid and bought this. And all you do is simply click load G-code, go to your file where you had it, which is tagged, which I've already got loaded. The code comes up in the left window. Um, what you're doing comes up in the right window. And you click start and away it goes. I've already set the job up. Obviously there's lots of fiddling about, faffing about to get it right, but this is um, a tag for my dog. Um, I actually made the tag as well, which I think is going to actually be a bit heavy for her, because she's only a tiny little terrier. So it's actually quite a heavy bit of brass. We're going to do it and see what happens. And as you can see, it's happily going along. It can go much, much faster, but I say I'm learning this. I've only had it a couple of weeks and it's a bit trial and error. You can see the Mac 3 doing its thing. It's running through the code on the left there. In the middle is the actual coordinates of the, the cutter. And on the right, it's showing you what it's actually doing. Sort of tracing the, the job. They're running through the code. Each coordinate there is telling the, the cutter where to go. Um, and when it's turned up fast, that really flies through. And so there you have your coordinates. That's what the, the cutter is actually going, or where the cutter is actually going. And then that is showing you exactly what it's doing at any one time. You see the little arrow on the right there going up and down. That's the, the cutter going up and down. And this is actually a pretty tiny job. Um, I think the brass is only about 23 mil across. Um, and I'll show you after as I've done one on the other side with much smaller font. And it's actually made a pretty good job. I'm quite pleased with it. But uh, it did take me an awful long while to set this up because it came in bits. And 
I had to set it all up, which is fairly straightforward. But uh, tuning the motors and getting everything to run at the right speeds and the right distances was absolutely, well, took me forever. But we got there. And now I've done it, it's actually fairly simple to, um, to tune if it does go out of tune. Um, which it can do if you hit a, a stop by mistake, if you've set some measurements wrong. It's critical to get your, your decimal point in the right place when you're setting the job up. I've, uh, well, you can see from the, the, the uh, bit of board I'm doing this on, I've been trying out various different things just to make sure I'm getting the depths right, cutting speeds, all the rest of it. I guess once you've done it a lot, you'll, you'll get to know what speeds, what depths and all the rest of it for each particular job. Um, but I, as I say, I'm very novice. There we go, we're almost done. And once it's completed its job. It returns itself to its home position. You can take the job out. Now this is the finished article. It's only on a bit of rough old brass but you get the idea. It's actually quite quite neat. Um, and that's referring to her microchip. Now you can see I've made much smaller fonts on that side because originally I was going to put it on a smaller disc. Um, and that's it, that's basically what it can do. So I'm going to have another bit more of a play about with it and then it'll probably end up on eBay like most of my projects. So if you're interested, keep an eye out. Thanks for watching.